Hello everyone. In today's exciting video, I'm going to show you how to create a graph that shows the overall progress of your task or your objective or your project in an easy to understand, interesting and graphical way in Excel that you can update as you move along the project. So this is how it will look like. So it will have a start date and end date of the project and a progress bar which shows this much work has been done and this much work that still needs to be done. So what you need is a computer, Excel and of course this tutorial. Okay, so let's go to Excel. So here all you need is the start date of your project, the end date of the project, the duration of the project, the work that has been completed and the work that still needs to be done. So Let's start with the duration. So it's very easy to find the duration. So it was equal to sign, end date, take away, start date, enter, and here it shows 40 days. So in this case, the total duration of the project is 40 days. The work that has been completed, you know, let's say the work that has been completed is 30 days. The 30 days of work has been completed and the remaining will be equal to total takeaway completed 10 days okay so the next thing you can do you can convert this into percentage if you want to show your progress in percentage so to do that equal to completed work divided by duration times 100 and that gives you 75 percent and that work remaining equal to work remaining divided by total times 100 that is 25 percent so that means 75 percent work has been done and 25 percent is still to be completed okay so now you have everything that you need to draw the graph click on insert then go and choose 3d stack bar you can enlarge it a bit so you can see it clearly so this is an empty graph so obviously we have to enter the data values so right click select data add so we need actually three things we need the start date we need the task that has been completed and the task that is remaining so click on add okay here is asking for the series name and the series value so the series name in this case is start date and the value is obviously this thing so we'll click here and then just simply click on the start date and it will automatically pick the value. Next, click tab and that will go to the next value, which is a series value. And click on the value and then click OK. To add the second one, click add again. Series name completed. Series value. In this case, I'm going to take 75% because I want to show in percentage. So I will take 75%. But I want to show in number of days then you can choose 30 instead of percentage so I'm gonna choose 75 click OK and finally add remaining 25 equal to and then finally click OK here is the start date here is the end date and this is the current progress so we don't need this bit so click on it once that would highlight it and then right click format data series fill no fill because we don't want to see that so we'll choose no fill that will make it disappear right so one of the problem now is we have our graph that's fine we have the start date end date but uh, we have some extra date here which we don't want to see in the beginning to get rid of that we'll have to click on this date and then double click now we have to give the minimum values we want the minimum value to be the start date but the problem here is the minimum value is in numbers it's not in dates the reason is Excel converts it into number converts date into a number so how we can do that so take this value copy it paste anywhere and then here you can see this is in date format so we have to convert it into number format so click number and this will automatically convert this date into number so 2nd of November 2020 is written as in Excel as 44,137 anyway copy this 
double click on this date minimum and paste that value and click enter so now your graph is starting at start date there will be little one we don't need we will get rid of that okay one problem solved the next thing is these dates are very congested so what you can do double click and change the major unit values so at the moment is 10 so there's a spacing of 10 days so let's say we change it to 20 days and click enter and then solve your second problem so next thing we just have to add a little bit um, to make this graph look beautiful so one thing you can do is you are at the chart title or whatever you want to name it and you can obviously change the fonts and similarly if you want you can change the fonts of the date the other thing you can do is go on the plus sign and then um, data labels click on that and that will bring out the 75 percent and 25 percent uh, there's a started we don't need this for the time being okay so now click on this 75 percent because it's very small so let's make it bigger let's make it 20, uh, 28 and similarly click on this 25 and increase it to 20 and if you want you can change the color I will make it black and uh, this one I will make white and then I also like to change the color of this bar I would like to see it blue so double click and then go in the fill oh, we don't need this and then this is the current color so click on here choose blue or whatever color you want and that's it another thing you can do we want to see it in percentage so everybody can easily understand that this is in percentage so click at the end and type in the percentage sign and similarly for this one click at the end and type the percentage sign okay so the graph is ready but let's see uh, during the uh, project if you make some more progress and you want to change this value you update this is that possible so let's see and try that let's see instead of 30 days we have made 35 days of progress so change it to 35 that's all you have to do so change it to 35 then click enter and we'll change the rest of the values by itself you don't have to do anything else so I'm gonna undo this for the time being the next you can do it you can make it look a bit uh, beautiful so go in insert shape to this rectangle and draw here and then start typing start date and then if you go on that shape format you can choose nice color and pattern let's say this one and in this case I would like to change the color to black so it's more visible and then put this here right in the beginning and then I will copy it paste it and take this to the end and again go to shape format and change the color so let's say more noticeable let's say yellow and that would be end it and finally if you want you can add um, a finish line flag which you can google or if you already have oh, I will have this one here so I will paste it here and if you similarly if you want you can put the uh, something for the start did as well okay so our graph is now ready and uh, one final thing is you want to print this so how can you print that so because the thing is if you print it from here so that won't show you everything so and even if you copy it and uh, paste it it won't take everything so how can we do that so all you have to do is uh, simply have this graph maybe if you want you can zoom it a bit okay and then go in this uh, start and then start typing snip that will bring the snipping tool so click on that then click on new and then select the chart area release it and that will copy and then click on this copy and then take it to word or um, powerpoint wherever you want and then paste it as a picture 
and there your graph is I would like to take it on the uh, PowerPoint so then just go on this design and then uh, go click on this uh, design ideas so here you'll have different design ideas so you can choose anyone you like like this or this or this so maybe I, I, I will prefer this one so if you click on the print preview so you can print it or if you want to save it as a picture so the easy way is just uh, maximize it to full screen and then press the print screen button that will copy the whole screen and then come back new slide and then paste it as a picture so now you can see this is now a picture while the previous one was not a full picture okay so this is not a full picture if you want you can save it um, uh, you can send it to somebody or if you want you can easily take a print okay so I uh, hope that uh, gives some idea of how you can do that and uh, if you like my video please uh, don't forget to subscribe like and share and uh, if you have any question just drop me in the comment section below and I will uh, reply you straight away thank you very much for your time thank you bye